In this video, I'll be explaining Diffie-Hellman key exchange. So let us have the first look at the algorithm. Uh, so this is as the name suggests, this is about finding the key and we want a uh, same common key. Elias and Bob agrees on to a large prime P and they agree on to uh, the primitive root G mod P. Now Elias chooses a secret integer A and find the discrete log H1 which is congruent to G to the power A mod B. This is something related to discrete log problem. I have explained this in my earlier video. Bob chooses again a secret number B. So this A and B is are not declared and then find H2. Now they share H1 and H2. So Elias compute K which is H2 to the power A because it has been shared now. H2 is available with uh, the Elias and Bob has computed h1 to the power b and they got the same key what the reason is they've got the same key because we can see that here h1 is congruent to g to the power a this is what Elias had had raise on both side by b so when we can have h1 to the power b this is congruent to g raised to power a times b separately we can see that h2 was the calculation done by bob so this is g to the power b raise on both side by a so this is h2 raised to power a congruent to g a b now since the right hand side is the same with both and g is a primitive root and you are doing with this with respect to one prime so obviously h1 to the power b must be same as h2 to the power a and that's the key so if H1 is uh, available with Elias or Bob, so they can calculate and H2. And accordingly, they get the same key. The, but the question here, the difficulty with the uh, Diffie-Hillman is, if we know somehow G to the power A, if we know G to the power B, of course, with respect to mod uh, P, then it is difficult to calculate G to the power AB mod B. It's not that easy to find that this is congruent to what integer with respect to mod P. Knowing that you know G to the power A is congruent to something, you also know G to the power B is congruent to something. So even if these are known, it's difficult to find that this is congruent to what? Now this is a reduced integer with respect to mod P. This is why discrete log problem is used in the Diffie-Hillman key exchange problem. In fact, this integer can be considered the discrete log of this integer is AB. So this is a large, this is a problem uh, knowing the previous facts. Now let's take an example for this algorithm. Now in this example, Elias and Bob need to create a key for their financial document and they want the same key obviously. So they agree onto a prime P and they also agree onto a primitive root G. Elias chooses a secret number 817 and this what we can call it as A in the algorithm and Bob chooses a secret number this, this is what we call it as P. So because they both want to, now they have uh, access to their secret number and they have P and G. So the first thing that Elias want to compute is H1. So let's calculate from here. Elias want to compute H1 which is congruent to G to the power A mod P. And then on the side, Bob also want to compute something H2, which is congruent to G to the power B mod P. And then they will exchange their H1 and H2. Let's first look at that. G is 6 and A is 817 with respect to mod 31918. So this is what uh, we can consider because we require to compute this expression. And as the integer goes larger, this calculation becomes difficult. So we allies calculate 16978. Then on the other side, H2 is calculated as 28349, which is congruent to G is 6. And in the exponent, we have 23971 with respect to mod P, that is 31981. So now these two are exchanged. H1 goes to Bob and H2 comes to Elias. So Elias calculate K which is congruent to H2 raised to power 8 because A is already available with Elias. Elias has not declared what is A and Bob has not declared what is P. So this is the information until this is not public. Nobody knows. So here or maybe by trial somebody just try it but again trial will take a lot of computational time it takes years so that's why we consider still this as uh, uh, secure we have h2 that is 28349 raised to power a a is selected by 817 
and we find that this is 7, 8, 5, 7 with respect to mod 31981. On separately, Bob calculated K which is congruent to H1 to the power B. H1 is shared by allies and B is already available with the Bob. So, H1 is 16978 raised to power uh, B. B is 23971. This is congruent to 7857 with respect to mod 31981. And both of them agree on to this key 7857. We can see that both of have got the common key. And this is how Diffie-Hellman key exchange works.